Hello there, grumpy old fart here. Um, I'm doing an unexplained, me unexplained megalithic site video. Uh, and that is just a little misleading in this case because I'm talking about the Yangshan Quarry. Now, this is not actually a megalithic site, but this is a quarry where they were cutting the stones. And I thought this was important to talk about because um, of what we found there. And the reason, I'll explain why. Uh, this quarry is about 20 kilometers outside Shanghai, China. Uh, it's been in use for centuries. They've been using it to build different places, different cities, that kind of thing, different buildings and what all. Uh, but what's odd about this quarry is the size of the blocks that the ancient cutters were shaping. This was a, uh, they were, they were trying to make a statue and it's in three pieces. Okay. The, the, the head of this statue is 10.7 meters tall it weighs 20 or excuse me it is a uh, 20.3 meters wide and it is 8.4 meters thick and it weighs 6118 metric tons 6000 tons okay that's 1.2 million pounds uh, Wait, it, it's metric tons. Regular tons would be 1.2 million. I'm not sure what the metric tons is. I think it's 1,500. Uh -oh. Well, anyway. The, the point I'm getting at is it's a damn lot of weight. Um, the body uh, is 49.4 meters long. It's 10.7 meters wide and 4.4 meters thick. And it weighs 8,799 metric tons. But the really impressive one is the base. The base is 30.35 meters long, 13 meters thick, and 16 meters tall. This thing weighs 16,250 metric tons. Um, that's just ridiculous. <clears throat> if they had... We're cutting small pieces to build a big statue. That would be one thing, but none of these none of these blocks were finished. But the work done underneath to try to free these massive stones from the bedrock suggests that they had the intention of actually moving them in one piece. These three pieces, okay? Uh, that's just damn ridiculous. Sixteen thousand metric tons. We couldn't move any of these enormous blocks today. I, I don't understand how they could have planned to move them back then. And, and they apparently it was started in... This, they, they, these blocks were being cut around 1400, 1405, something like that. And uh, apparently they had the intention of moving them. They had to have had a plan. You don't cut a stone like that without knowing how you're going to move it. So, and seeing as how... Other places like Baalbek, Lebanon, and some of these other places where you see these massive stones move for a thousand miles or whatever. Somebody had the idea to move these big stones. And it boggles my mind. I would like to, I, I would love to be able to talk to these people and say, what was your plan? Because I, I very seriously doubt engineers of this caliber would have cut these things and then decided, well, crap, we can't move them. Never mind. You see what I'm saying? I can see the work being stopped for a, a, a thousand different reasons, but if they were cutting them and fashioning them and then cutting them out of the bedrock like that, they intended to move them. They had a plan to move them, and I'd like to know what that plan was because our heavy lift machinery today can't do that. Not on that scale. That's just ridiculous. Something to think about. Somebody back then had the plan. <laughs> you folks have a good day. God bless one and all.